What would you like me to do? Some patience, Commander. I have to take care of something first. Van Helsing, so you are in command now. Good question. Is the ship commanding the storm? Don't listen to her. Yes, and I have a task for you. There is an ornithopter launch tower nearby, and it's causing us plenty of grief. If I get you there, can you disable it? Well, I could use an overlord that would shut it down for good, but isn't that thing beyond our defenses? Nah, a few enemy hordes along the way, the odd behemoth here and there. Trust me, it'll be mind-numbingly boring. Don't worry. I'll keep you alive. All right. I place my trust in you, Hunter. Ready. Finally. I don't know what we did here, but it was fun.
cannot hold this position much longer. We should demolish at least one of these elevated rail tracks to stop the enemy. You can solve everything in Borgovia by blowing up some bridges. A radical idea. But we don't have any explosives. There is a phlogiston tank right under the rail bridge. If we open the three taps, the gas will burst through the vents, creating flammable clouds. I love blowing up bridges as much as the next Borgovian. But this means that flammable clouds will engulf the whole district, right? The residents have already fled or have been evacuated, which means that we can risk the plan. Let's do this. me to do call back the soldiers from the first line I go to the front line and wait there before they attack
lowly messenger found a wounded resistance soldier beyond the perimeter. He tried to warn us that the undead, called Vlados, was under attack and needs your help. Did he tell where they are? With his last breath, he did. There is an industrial platform far beyond our lines, where the cargo elevators go down to the rookery. Vlados is trapped there. Sir, we are under heavy attack. certainly live up to our expectations, sir. You saved us in the last minute. What happened to you, Captain? And where is Count Vlados? Count Vlados is gone, sir. What do you mean, gone? Did he crumble to dust, or did he just slip away to throw a doomsday party again? You really shouldn't question his dedication to the cause, my lady. He led his unit to one of the electricity works to disable the force domes from there. Then suddenly Harker's specialist swarmed the area. We had no choice but to retreat. I'll take it from here, Captain. Go back to the front line. You are needed, Van Helsing. The commander wants to talk to you. You must also save a weapon shipment and rescue someone important. Van Helsing, you give a new meaning to the term one-man army. At least it's a well-tested, unproven method. That crippled general has no chance against us.
Finally. Where have you been? This poor son is going to die. We must take him to safety now. Oh, my apologies. I didn't know that we don't have time to play with those people who are shooting at us. <laughs> Are we doomed yet? Finally, the one-man army is here! against us. You're finally here. I was close to leaving on my own. Everyone is a one-man army now. It's your fault, Hunter. Oh, heavens! They're using the Grand Mortars! urgent order from the War Council. You must find and save Private Brian at all costs. Take him back to the lair. We have a War Council now? And who is this soldier? Private Brian. I heard that part, but who is he? Someone important? Not that I know of. A simple soldier. I'm all about helping people. 
But Count Vlados is gone. Our defenses are crumbling. And you still want me to find a lonely soldier? Yes, I do. I have my orders. And I'm willing to sacrifice hundreds if that's what it takes to save Private Brian. Commander, I understand. If this is an order, we obey. Where should we go to look for him? I sent his squadron to track eight. Did you save Private Brian? Not yet, but we're still looking for him. Never seen anything like that. Sir, 
It's good to have you here. Thank you, Captain. I'm looking for a certain Private Brian. And he should have a lightning-shaped scar on his forehead. Don't listen to her. Do you know where we can find this man? I sent him with a squadron to destroy a freight car filled with phlogiston gas. It's a dangerous mission. Fear not, lads. Van Helsing is here. duty. squad. My comrades are all dead and I'm stuck here. Don't worry, lad. You're safe now. Tell me, I must know. Who are you? Do you have a unique ring? A glittering sword? A red cape? What? I'm... I'm a nobody, my lady. Please don't hurt me. I used to be a cook, that's all. The War Council loves my chocolate cakes, but that's hardly a specialty. Really? We should change sides, Van Helsing. I insist! We will escort you to safety, soldier. You won't last alone out here. Going to give me orders? Did you save Private Brian? Yes, we did. And I think I'm gonna have some words with the War Council. I wouldn't know anything about that. I suggest focusing on the defenses until we get Vlados back. Vlados is gone, and our defenses are crumbling. Our job is done here. In this case, we must return to the lair. You're right, Commander. But there are still civilians out there. Return to the lair, and make sure it's ready to accommodate the refugees. I'll join the others and wait for the next attack.
do you have a second? What now? Do you remember the machine that poor mad Professor Fumigati piloted against us? If you mean the gigantic doomsday automaton that almost smashed me to a pulp, then yes, it was lovely. Great. Then you'll love the upgraded version, the Octopod Annihilator, even more. As far as I know, it's a gorgeous killing machine. And if we fail to stop it, it will destroy our defenses. everywhere, and he is moving in with the heavy artillery towards the foundry. That's it? We're running away? You are merely gaining valuable time until I do what I do best, seeking and hunting secrets, examining the occult depths of this land, and I'm the one who will find you a way to destroy those domes. Wait, did you just say I? So you know the personal pronoun after all. You are right, my lady. This one went too far and thought himself important. Enough. We'll go back to the lair to regroup. Move. As famous last stands go, the battle for Viaduct Junction was quite spectacular. Sadly, it doesn't change the fact that we are losing this war. I even had to leave behind important allies. General Harker is a worthy opponent. He has salvaged the mad scientist toy box, found some real treasures, and used them wisely. Now the Four Stones are keeping us away from strategically important positions, and the unnatural soldiers are forcing us back to the lair. Harker is on his way to occupy the foundries. The mysterious Prisoner Seven promised to find a way to destroy the domes. Until then, we must remain in the lair that the General is so desperate to find. So, we will have to keep him busy. Congratulations, Van Helsing. Great. What did I do again? Don't be ridiculous. That was an honest praise. I think you are a good commander. I'm still a better monster hunter. I've never said you were a great commander, but every beginning is difficult. Sir. We found this strange ornithopter in the tunnels. We tried to shoot it, but it, well, it, it spoke to us. Turns out it's a messenger from an inventor called Telsa. He was captured by the general, but he rewired this machine and sent it for help. Great. So our associate mad genius is finally somewhere where he can't build anything that destroys half the city? You're not planning to set him free, are you? If he stays there, the General will eventually use his genius abilities against us. Will you send out a rescue team, sir? No, my friend. Rescue missions are my speciality. Do you have anything else to report? Yes, sir. Commander Petrov wants to have a word with you. Van Helsing, 
The War Council evaluated your actions during the siege, and they've decided to entrust you with the training of the elite soldiers. Wait, is this a punishment or a reward? And what exactly would be my task, Commander? You have to prepare the Resistance elite squads and send them out on important missions. We've appointed some new captains who will serve under your command. Meet them first, then choose wisely. Van Helsing, sir, reporting for duty. Easy, Captain. I'm still a monster hunter, not a general. What is your speciality? Ivan Zarevich reporting, sir. Special command tactics and offensive warfare. You must be one of those, ooh, muscles. I mean specialists, with muscles. Mm. Nice day, isn't it, sir? Heard you were in charge now. We'll get along just fine. I used to be a hunter like you, Gregor Stark, scourge of the werebeast, at your service. Doesn't ring a bell. Sorry. But if you were a hunter, you must have a long list of useful expertise. Right you are, sir. Exploration is my middle name. And Ambush, Ambush is my other middle name. I also have an inkling of traps and ranged weapons. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, I'm great with traps. Is arrogance something they teach you at the Hunter's Academy? Wait, don't answer that. <laughs> Mr. Van Helsing, allow me. My name is Dr. Stone. How are you feeling today? Are you a medical doctor or a proper mad scientist? No, my lady, I treat no maladies. I'm a simple genius, born to defeat the world with giant exploding machines. Currently, I'm helping out the resistance. I'm also a diplomat, an expert on traps, and occult knowledge. At your service. General Harker has sent his soldier things down to the underground tunnels. They are still looking for the lair. They will eventually cut us off if we don't stop them now. That's the perfect opportunity to see our elite soldiers in action. They'll defend the tunnels. You look lost, Captain. Yes, sir. Isn't it strange that the lair seems bigger on the inside? 